Okay, we're here with our student Rita and we're going to be talking about interpreting expressions. Let's just figure out what that title means first. So an expression is something like this and we'll go over what this one actually is. It's some sort of um, mathematical way of stating something usually has a variable in it, okay, or more, more than one variable. And interpreting means understanding what it means and what the different pieces of it mean. Okay, so that's what we're going to be working on here. Okay, so let's go ahead and read this word problem. You are on the second day of a multi-day hike. On the first day, you start at the trailhead and made it to camp one. So you started there and you made it to camp one. Now your distance from the trailhead is given by the following expression where t, so there's the variable t, is the number of hours you have hiked today, okay, on the second day, okay? Okay. All right, so now, I think most of us, when we read this and then see this expression, we might be, hmm, I, I need to like see this in order to make sense of it. And that's a great thing to do is to draw a picture. So let's go ahead and draw a picture. Let's draw a trail with you on it. Okay? Okay. So you're hiking along the trail. Now, it gave us some information about when you started on the first day. Where did you start on the first day? At the trailhead. At the trailhead. So let's go ahead and put that on our, on our drawing here. Okay, and on that first day, you made it to some other point. What point did you make it to? Um, to camp one. Camp one. Okay, so we, now we have a picture of what's going on here. And we can kind of see, okay, um, on the first day, I went from here to here, slept overnight. And now the second day, I'm cruising along. And my distance from the, what, what does this tell me again, this expression? My distance from where? From the trailhead? From the trailhead is this right here, right? Mm -hmm. So let's put that on our drawing too. Does that make sense? We're going to have the distance from trailhead to where I am right now is 2.1t plus 14. Yep. Yep. Okay. Now that we have that, now it's starting to make sense, right? Because like before when I'm just reading the words and looking at the expression, for me at least, it's like I, I got to draw this out in order to really understand what's going on. Okay. So now when you're interpreting expressions, you're going to be asked what different parts mean. So let's go and ask ourselves some of those questions. What does the 2.1 mean? This might be the trickiest, hardest question of them all. We'll do it first though. So it's, we have to think when we, uh, this expression 2.1t plus 14, what is that 2.1? Well, what's the t? What is the t telling us? Um, the number of hours you hiked. Okay, good. So it's the number of hours and I'm multiplying this 2.1 times the number of hours to get part of the distance, right? right? Okay, so this has to be kind of in distance units, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm timesing something by hours, and it's in, let's see, let's see, it's the, the distance in miles. So this must mean my rate in miles per hour, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, I take 2.1 miles per hour, times it by the number of hours that I've hiked today, and I'm gonna get the distance, you know, that's part of the distance equation. So that's what that 2.1 is, okay? The number of miles you travel each hour. The other way to think about it is your rate. And now mm -hmm. I'll just let you in on a little secret. A lot of times in, in equations like this or expressions, I should say like this, the number that's multiplying by the variable, that's gonna be your rate, okay? Because it's okay. usually the variable has something to do with time. And so any, multi, any um, um, coefficient of that variable is gonna be multiplying by time and that's gonna be telling you how much you're going per each unit of time. So that'll be your rate. Okay, let's ask ourselves another question here. What does 2.1 times t mean? Okay, that now that's a little bit more of an interesting question. So if I am hiking at 2.1 miles an hour and t is what again? What does that t mean? Um, hours. Yeah, um, hours that I hiked when? That you hiked... Um... The whole time or from the trailhead let's read it again where t is the number of hours you have hiked oh, today yeah okay so 2.1 times t would that be the number of hours that i've hiked i mean the the distance i've hiked overall or just the distance i've hiked today um just today yep that's right so that's the number of miles you traveled today okay or you are traveling today based on how far you've gone. And you know, at this point, it would be good to go ahead and put that on our diagram. So the, the, you are at camp one at the beginning of today, right? Right. And you've been traveling some miles. Dun, 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 dun. So the total miles you've traveled today is 2.1 times t. 
So if you went one hour today, you would have gone 2.1 miles. If you go two hours, you'd go 4.2 miles, right? Mm -hmm. Three hours, there would be 6.3 Right? right? So you can get the num the distance that you've traveled here just by taking the number of hours times your rate of 2.1. Okay, so it's starting okay. to all come together, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so now let's ask us, what does the 14 mean? What do you think mm. that might mean? Can you figure it out? Hmm. So the this thing, 2.1t plus 14, is the total distance the 2.1t part is the distance just today. So what must that 14 be? Um, the distance from the trailhead to the camp one. That's right. That's right. It must be the other part of the distance, the number of miles from trailhead to camp one. And we can put that on our diagram too. You see that? So the total distance is the 2.1t plus 14. This part is the 2.1t. This part is the 14. Isn't that cool how an expression has all these different pieces to it? But they only really come alive if you if you draw a diagram like this. So let's go over our strategies um, for how to best interpret expressions here. So first thing is draw a picture. Almost always you want to draw a picture. And don't just draw it, label it. Get all of this information on the picture and it will really help you to understand what's going on with the math. Mm -hmm. Okay. Second strategy. Ask yourself what changes when the variable changes. Okay. So here T was changing. And my overall distance changes because each hour that I'm traveling, my overall distance is going to change. And my distance from camp one is going to change. But you know what doesn't change when T changes? Is this 14, right? right. And that's the distance from the trailhead to camp one. That's never going to change. No matter how many hours I walk today, it's not going to change. That's going to be 14. And so that really helps you understand how the expression is working and what's changing when. Okay? okay, and then the final strategy here is think about units. When we asked that first hard question of what does the 2.1 mean, it was hard until we realized that the units of the T was hours, so we needed something to multiply by hours to get a distance, like miles per hour, so those hours and hour can cancel, and then we'll be just left with miles, because we know that this is all about distance here. Okay. So thinking about the units can, can help us with that. Make sense? Yep. All right, good job.